Hey, it's Mr. Tent. I'm showing today. I'm showing you a Quarter Dome T2 by REI. Two-person ultralight tent. What does ultralight mean? I think that means if it comes in around two pounds per person, you're ultralight. Before we get started with the build, I want to show you this hub system. I believe the T stands for Twin Hubs. Here's a hub. Notice there's one silver pole that runs all the way down the length, and there's a matching silver streak right down the tent. So if you can line this silver pole up with that, you're halfway there. The second half is the poles are orange, and there's two, uh, two orange stripes running down from one corner and kind of hanging out in the middle. So that's going to be this one. Notice the short part and the long part. There's the short part and the long part. I'll show you as I lay them out. Here's the hub. It just clicks in like a like an ordinary tent hub. Strong plastic. I think they're going to be in good shape with these. See this? This tells you you're lined up just right. I'm going to go on ahead and stick. Oh look, it's already trying to stand up. See that? Check this out. It is really easy to build this tent. Can you see the poles already sticking up? I do my main pole first. Since I'm over here, I'm going to do this one. I've already, of course, I've already done some work. I already staked out the tent. Okay. At this point, here are two grommets that's going to lift the tent. Get your pole. Grab, grab it right here near the end. Bend it down. Stick it in. You can reach over if you want to, but I'm just showing you this. Grab your next pole, bend it down, click it in. Did I show you that okay? Let's zoom in and see that one more time. The pole is way up here. Just grab it, bend it down, click it in. While you're here, grab this middle one, and then click in a few. Since this is on an orange tab, it goes on the orange pole. Not on the silver pole, the orange pole. Hope I showed you that okay. All right, let's see here. I guess you saw that. Now the rest of it is simply built. From the top down, REI always says, so, click, click, click. Click on the back side. I'm sorry, I'm uh, competing with a some kind of little rock concert at the local park. And that is your um, T3. Let's unbutton here and go take a look at it. T2, I'm sorry. This is your REI T2. Look at that. It's got plenty of space. Notice it's got double doors. The other one is, I guess, hanging open over there. All mesh. It gives you ventilation. Some say it also sacrifices a little privacy. I guess it depends who your friends are when you're out here in the, in the boonies. But looking here from the end, you can see all the way through it. Let's go take a look inside and see what I got. This door is partly open. Oh, notice I call these teardrop doors because they kind of resemble a teardrop. Oh, these run easily. What I'm mentioning is there's a little uh, pocket up here to stash the door. So we can, it's hard, I'm, I'm just doing it left-handed, but see, look. Bam, in it goes. Now let's look at this floor. The tape is good. Uh, this is an REI store return. I don't see anything wrong with it as of yet. Usually there's some little defect. I like to sniff them. I think this smells new. I think we've got a very nice tent here. A little bit of sand. A little bit of sand. Let's continue our inspection. I haven't seen a thing wrong. Unfortunately, Darlene's not here right now. She's not feeling well. But I think we're looking pretty good. Okay, let's get on with the next part, which will be uh, which will be the throwing 
of the fly. Let me see if I need anything. I think I'll try to do this in one long take instead of breaking it up. Your rain fly has corners and they have colors. Here's an orange one. Here's a gray one. That tells me... That tells me what? Oh, I've got a gray pole here and an orange there. That tells me this is this end. So I'm going to go do that end first. Let's, uh, let's pan over so you can see. I know I've got this corner here, but before we do that, I want to show you a trick. Do the top first. We already know we're in the right corner. Let's just go on ahead and do this grommet first. Come to the other side, find our other grommet. It'll be right above the zipper. Click this one in next, and now the rest of it will fall into place easily. I'm on the back side, clipping in. Uh, these are uh, the kind that you just put under the under the. Uh, Oops, I messed up. I didn't show you. I was zoomed in over here. We'll have to retake that. Matter of fact, let's cut.